world. <laughs> and I guess this is kind of hysterical when you think about it. But I really, the joy of finding things out and understanding. And, you know, it's something that never, you don't ever know enough. Uh, and it's a race with time. There's not much of it. Anything that's beautiful now, as we are doing it, and new and interesting to us, in a few years, it's not going to be beautiful and interesting anymore. We just can't rest with it. We have to keep on moving to the limits of our capacity to try to understand, and we will never understand completely. We will never understand completely, but we know that there are more secrets. They lie in the Arctic, they lie in Alberta, and they lie again back in China in the footsteps of a legendary adventurer. The team has split up. Dong has taken charge of the Mamenchisaurus excavation. Russell is in Ottawa trying to make sense of the specimens from the Arctic. And Phil Curry, with his colleagues from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, is taking a new team deeper into the Gobi to Inner Mongolia. For Curry, this is the fulfillment of a boyhood ambition. His first interest in dinosaurs was sparked by a book on an earlier expedition here, an expedition led by the legendary Roy Chapman Andrews. Andrews arrived in the Gobi in 1922 on a trip sponsored by the American Museum of Natural History. He would move beyond the Great Wall of China to where even the Chinese feared to step. For beyond here was the land of the Mongol bandits, the warlords, the descendants of Genghis Khan. Beyond here was the impossible desert. Andrews was the first Westerner to go beyond the wall in search of the dragon, and the dragon he found. He even had a species named in his honor, Protoceratops andrewsi. Quite a character, Roy Chapman Andrews. The servants brought table linens and fine wines. Andrews brought a pearl-handled Colt 45, a handful of scientists, and a Hollywood cameraman to make sure the rest of the world knew how legends were made. It was Roy Chapman Andrews who first discovered dinosaur nests. Until then, scientists only suspected that dinosaurs laid eggs. This conclusion alone guaranteed Andrews a place in the history of paleontology. Andrews would spend almost 10 years in China before modern history caught up with him. Civil war and revolution would finally force him out. There were gigantic things happening in China in the late 1920s. Western scientists have been to this part of Mongolia since Andrews left. Things haven't changed much. Andrews had dreamed of getting deeper into deepest Mongolia, but the Gobi would not let him pass. It is a little kinder to Phil Curry.
This patch of desert is known as Bayan Mandahu. To move beyond here is to move beyond the realm of man. here is next to zero. The earth is parched and desolate. The land simply a gathering ground for the skeletons of camels. There's just so much desert here and the rocks just go on forever and you think you could spend the rest of your life there and not even cover what you can see around you. And the closer you look at the area you're in even, usually the more material you'll end up finding. Kevin Allenbach, who discovered the dinosaur embryos in the Alberta Badlands, peels back a layer of the Gobi and discovers a prehistoric story in a broken bone. Well, what we have here is uh, the fibula off a duck-billed dinosaur. And what's interesting about this one in this bone bed is that uh, it has a fracture through it right here which uh, happened when the animal was alive and fused up again it must have been quite the blow to to break the leg like this uh, uh, that's a, a clean break right through uh, you've got a huge growth on the back side you can see here uh, so this thing was actually sheared right off and you can actually see the line of shear coming through here okay so this, this actually was broken clean right right in half and then the animal uh, through walking on this broken leg has caused uh, the bone to, to shift. Uh, muscles would pull the lower one, the lower half, and muscles would pull the other half, so they no longer lined up, even like this was just broken right in half, and then one end slowly fused in by building up a calcium bridge across, and the same with the other end. So you've got this bone which has this incredible twist to it. It just makes you wonder, like, uh, these animals aren't as supreme as they may seem, even though they're 28 feet long, they still suffer from all the ailments that you or I could suffer from. They still get the parasites, the disease, the broken bones from their environment. And it just makes them seem more human. There are dinosaur bones wherever they look. Within a week, Bayan Mandahu will go from an unknown desert wilderness to the richest fossil ground in all of Asia. The dragon has been tracked to his lair. The nests that we're finding here are identical to the ones that were found in 1922-23 by the American Museum of Natural History. The long, oblong eggs belong to what we call ornithischian dinosaurs, the things like protoceratops and hadrosaurs and so on and that the round eggs are probably laid by saurischian dinosaurs, the carnivorous dinosaurs and the big sauropods. To the trained eye, eggs appear everywhere. But unlike the specimens in Alberta, there are no signs of the embryos the eggs once contained. There's no baby bones around or anything, so I would uh, probably consider these to be a spring die-off or something like that. Shortly after they were laid, flooded out, so they suffocate. So what do you think about that? Well, I don't think that's going to work. Here, you want to try that? I, I've tried a, a few different ways. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Do so you look at the crystal structure inside, too? Hmm. Well, maybe this one will probably... A nice base for the crystals to form on when the water's dripping through. So... Is there any chance of fitting a specimen like this in, which has obviously been crushed? Kevin Allenbach will eventually piece this shell together. It will take him 103 days. That would probably be all this, so that's probably even a fourth egg. It is as if the Gobi had decided to display her treasures, and for Curry, they will go beyond those he has only dared dream about. Yeah, 